It is now day 54 and I'm creating a diamond mine to go down to the level of diamonds so I can hopefully find some. So I have a plan on how to how I'm gonna get more emeralds because um, I need them. So I'm planning to turn one of the villagers into a Fletcher uh, so I can sell them a bunch of sticks for emeralds. So I turned the guy inside the church. Um, I replaced his, uh, le what's it called? Um, I replaced his uh, brewing stand with uh, the fletching table. Um, so yeah, now he's not a science guy anymore. He's like a, he's the fletching person. So I have four stacks of wood right now. So, and I need to craft a bunch of sticks to trade him. So let's just do that, see how much. And from that, I got five stacks. There's obviously two more stacks here, but yeah, I'll worry about that later. Let's see how many emeralds I get. Okay. So two, every stack is pretty good. I'm playing with one hand, so it's kind of slow. Yep. So I got six emeralds from that. That's really useful. So you can see now that I'm at the required Y level to find diamonds down in my diamond mine. So now I'm just going to strip mine in a straight line and hopefully find some. So I just bought uh, 12 apples from the farmer. And this is my master plan. So I have um, kind of, I have some gold and um, you might see where I'm going with this, but I'm going to make a bunch of golden apples, so if I'm ever in danger, um, I can just eat one of those. I was just searching for some gold and found some diamonds. It is time to place my most two coveted treasures into the item frame. Are you serious? It is time to place my two most coveted treasures in the two item frames. My diamond and a golden apple. So today we are going to expand the castle. It's day um, 61. And as you can see here, I added a roof here. But we're going to make it so you can get on top. And I might even make it taller because I think I might put an enchanting room up here. Um, I'm not sure though because I want to still see like the night sky and also with this bow maybe I can like shoot enemies from down here while I'm up here so I'm just gonna get to work on that maybe spruce it up a little bit you'll see a time-lapse of that right now It is now day 62 and I'm finally done with it. Ladders on all sides of the room. I mean all corners, yeah. Um, we have some emesis geode and we had the glass panes before we started this project, but yeah. Um, we have some stairs so we can look over, but we can still see the amethyst geode. And I'm really proud of this project, it was really cool. Um, this castle is really coming together with the design and beauty of it and the reason why I love the glass is that I can still see like the night sky when I like go to sleep or in my room but I'm like protected from like the rain and stuff and also I get to like be an archer if there's like any any enemies out there like just like shoot yeah So I have some water bottles now, and I want to make some mud, so I'm pretty sure you just pour it on there. Wait, wait. I'm not sure what you do, wait. 
maybe you have to do it in like a pond of water maybe let's try that oh works okay let's get this we have mud um it looks pretty cool I might use this for a build later. I've brought home 44 pieces of mud, so let's see what I can craft. A, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know what you can do with this mud. So apparently you need wheat to make packed mud. So we'll get some of this. And then... Oh! Makes mud bricks. That's interesting. So I've replaced the first floor, floor I guess, uh, with mud uh, bricks. And let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good. I like, I think I like this better than the regular wood. I'll keep it. Okay, so there's some enemies outside, so I'm gonna just, like, try shoot them from here. Think that's a zombie? Yeah, it is. No, I'm not doing that well with my aim. Okay. I have to at least hit one, okay. And I'll go to sleep. There's a skeleton outside, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, you want to fight with bows, huh? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have a notch apple, too, if you want to mess around. I mean, not a notch apple. Regular apple. Okay. Regular golden apple. Okay. Took him out. This is actually quite fun. I think I might stay up here for a little while. Just need some action, you know? Ooh, got him. Ooh. I have like a whole entire other stack of arrows, so... That I accidentally bought from the Fletcher. But... I guess it's turning out fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Um, yeah, look at my empire of light. Yeah, I don't think any monsters are gonna spawn in the village, like, at all. Just like, my torches. It's actually just kind of beautiful just to look at it. Ooh. Skeleton. He has like a chanted bow or something. No match for me. I've got the high ground. Ooh, there's that like, s like super zombie basically. Um, there's some creepers out here too, and they're the best to take out with the bow since you don't want to accidentally make them explode if you like go near them with like a melee attack. Ooh. I'll just collect the winnings in the morning. Hey boys. Hi. Okay, so let's check what the monsters dropped. Oh no. See what I mean? Oh, got him. There's like so many creepers out here. Look, there's like five. There's like five.
Okay. So it's only two hits because they'll burn over time with my fire ass stick. So if I can, there's like two errors that like miss both of them. I'm turning away. Oh no. Okay, let's pick up these two arrows. I don't think there's really anything that the monsters dropped besides like XP, but we'll keep searching around. Oh, there's some string. I actually need the string to make wool so I can make beds for the other villagers because surprisingly there's lots of buildings here that don't have beds. And I don't want, like, the villagers staying up all night, so I'm just gonna do that. And I have, like, a bunch of sticks. Let me get out that, those arrows. If I can, yeah, they're there. Okay. So I think we're good now. Jeez, I need to eat. It is now day 64. So basically a stack of days. And it is raining. I'm so glad that I put the glass here so I can still watch it. So I already have one diamond up here. I'm not satisfied with that. I need more so I can make a pickaxe. So I'm gonna go mine down with the time. I'm gonna put on a time lapse. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully I can find some of them during this time lapse and before the 75 days that I have to stop recording this. And I can't believe it worth three, we're a third, oh, wait, we are three-fourths of the way to a hundred days of Minecraft Hardcore. That's really cool. So I'm just going to go down to my, um, diamond mining place, which is the place I did not find my diamonds. I found them actually caving around. And I know that's the best way of finding diamonds, but I'm not really having luck with it, so I'm just going to do this instead. Also, it might be funner, well, not funner to watch, but it's just kind of relaxing to just watch someone just mine in a straight line. At least I think so. So, I'm going to put on the time lapse in three, two, one. Suddenly, my pickaxe has just broke, and I did not find any diamonds, so I'm just going to bring myself and Beatrice back home, where I can make a new pickaxe, and it is still day 64. I thought it would be day 65 by the time I broke it, but apparently not. Okay, so I'm gonna go caving this time because it'll be a little more interesting and also I think I might have a better chance of finding diamonds. So usually when I go caving, I go this way. And... What the? There's slime somewhere. And then I go up here and this is where I cave. Oh, there's some bozos here. Deal with. Get away. Deal with. And then there's a mine shaft over here, and also there's a little hole over here that I haven't really explored yet. Oh, I have. So it looks like it from far away. Um, I don't really need a club. Um, iron. But yeah, I'll do a time lapse of me exploring some of this cave too.
Uh-oh. Um. everything that happened and stuff but what happened if you didn't see in the time lapse because it was actually pretty fast is that I got poisoned by a spider and then a skeleton shot me in the back so yeah that's what happened and it is day 65 so this was a fun little project thing um, on Minecraft thank you for watching the series if you have and I'll be doing a much longer hardcore series. This is just like some side project I just wanted to show you. And, um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And let's just say goodbye to this hardcore world. Uh, sadly, I think it deletes the world if you exit it. So I can't even look at it after that. Or maybe I can. deleted it um okay well that was fun and so thank you for watching and goodbye as I was bitten by this venomous spider I felt the venom going through my veins and then with my final breath as the, the arrow hit my back I was dead Okay, subscribe.